All right, here's uh, kind of part two of Todd McFarlane's Spawn character called The Heap. Uh, last video I made, it was a little bit difficult because Robbie wasn't here. Um, so I just kind of made that one just an unboxing because I had this guy whenever I was a kid. And uh, I was so dang excited after I got it to take it out of the box. Like I wasn't going to wait until I... Got Robbie in the camera, um, but one kind of, I don't know if unspoken feature is the correct term, but a feature about the heap obviously being a garbage monster is it smells like trash. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like trash and it smells like trash. Uh, at first I just thought it was all the paint that's on him uh, to give him the detail that he has. Uh, but apparently, one of the features about it was it stunk to, you know, add to the effect, which is really, really cool. Um, so, yeah, a big part of this video is going to be going over the articulation of him. Uh, on his hand right here, uh, the glass shards, if you're not careful, they will pop out. Uh, so, right here, there was a glass shard. I've got it in the box over here. I'll just put a little bit of glue in there, and it'll stay back on. Uh, it's it's not unusual that some little pieces will fall off of them just because there's so much on them. It's just hanging on there. Um, but all the articulations is, you know, at first, you know, the one is his mouth. Uh, it's one of the f features on the box that it comes with this little pack of trash and just assortments of parts. And you can stuff him in his mouth, and then when you're standing there, and his mouth falls open and spews garbage. That was one of his features. Uh, so that's one. Uh, at the hips, you know, he can do a little dance there, like a little shimmy uh, with his hips. Uh, he moves here also. Um, his knees don't move, uh, and his feet are in place firmly. Uh, see, the other leg moves as well. Um, let me get him standing back up straight. Let's see. And I kind of raise him up a little bit. There we go. Uh, now for the arms, you know, he moves at the shoulders on both. Well, I say he, but I mean, I don't really know if it's anything. It moves at the shoulders. Uh, it moves um, like right around the elbow. Uh, it does. This mo it goes inward and outward. It doesn't go straight up and straight down. Uh, the only up and down is at the shoulders. Uh, but it moves inward and outward, uh, both elbows. And the hands move all the way around uh, on both sides. Uh, no, yeah, on both sides. Um, so moves just like that. And uh, since... Uh, Got a little bit better uh, recording abilities. I'll try to do better at going over some of the details on him. So whenever you first see it, uh, of course, a few things stand out right away. He's got a skull on his noggin. Um, he's got a big old tire sticking straight out of his back and a shovel handle, or a handle that looks like it's probably from a shovel. Um, he's got a big piece of rebar going straight through him right here. Uh, he's got shards of glass everywhere. Um, one of the pieces, one of the pieces, like I said, fell out, but it's not. It's, I mean, it's not difficult at all to put it right back in. You can just slide it right back into place. Uh, on his back, you got the bottle there, a skeleton hand, some pipes, some newspaper, which is actual paper. Um, it's not just, you know. Uh, you know, just it's actual paper and it, there's there's stuff printed on it too and we'll see if I can see what it says it says classified post it looks like it's just a shrunken version of an actual newspaper I'm not even kidding and the one on his head even has a picture it's, it's so small it's hard to tell um, but if, if I looked at it with a magnifying glass I could probably actually read it oh, it's amazing detail um, his eyes are blue uh, which is, it's, it's probably not going to show up in, in the video, but if you can tell, his eyes are blue, um, but it doesn't really matter. Um, on his back also, there's a welding mask right near his ass. Um, 
bottle by his feet, giant shears down here, a big bone on his side, uh, toilet lid. Uh, it looks like the back of a chair or a pan or something right here in his knee. Uh, pipe going through his leg right here. A uh, hammer and a big cleaver in his ankle. It looks like a little pot. Um, I think that's most all of the real significant things on him. I mean, there's bones all over the place, glass all over the place, other trash everywhere. I mean, the whole thing is nothing but a big pile of trash. That's literally all he is, just a big pile of trash. So, it's really neat. Um, this one goes for loose uh, to good condition on eBay. Uh, goes from anywhere from, including shipping, uh, I've seen them anywhere from like 12 bucks uh, loose without any of the extra features uh, with some little pieces missing all the way up to close to $30 uh, in great condition packaging. This one um, I got from a person who had them in great shape. The box was in, I mean, pretty much perfect condition. Everything about it was, you know, kept pretty much mint uh, for the most part. Uh, and they let it go. I don't remember how much I paid. I paid around $25 for this one, including shipping. And uh, knew I was going to take it out of the pack. Because, you know, sometimes it doesn't really matter about the collectability value as much as it does the personal value it has. But, um, so yeah, that's the heat. Uh, real quick, the extra stuff that's in there. My little piece of rebar, some other pipes, and uh, another handle to like a hammer or something. Or uh, not a hammer, but a shovel or something. And the... Uh, poster or the um, flyer that came in that uh, is just of some of the other series that, he's, that, that Todd McFarlane had like Spawn and the Kiss band toys and um, McFarlane's monsters and on this side uh, it's other Spawn series is, um, uh, some guys from movies and uh, the Spawn Series 12 and uh, the Dark Ages. So that's all that is. Just, uh, you know, just a flyer. That's kind of neat. So, all right, well, that's the heap. We're going to enjoy uh, looking at them and talking about them, I'm sure. So, and smelling them. Yeah, we're not going to enjoy smelling them, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, every other feature to us is cool, but most people would probably uh, think it's pretty creepy. But yeah. it's not. It's cool. Spawn is cool. Yeah. Peace. Peace.